Hilchis to Maseichlin, Pedich Shnei Moser. Kol Divri Hechsher Eichlin, Divri Kabolein. So even though the Pasik says Mefurish, Chiyutin Mayim al Zera, it's a Meferish Pasik, but the Prati Adinam of Hechsher Eichlin is something which we learn from Divri Kabolo. To say, Shazesh and Nat Mepi Ashmo Lamdu, Shazesh and Namar Vichiyutan Mayim al Zera, so even though it says Mayim, Amber Echad Amayim, Vechad Shar Shiva Mashkin. That's number one. And also, Vuhu Shi Nosn Aleim Berotsan Abailim. That it has to be that the Mayim fell under Zera Berotsan Abailim. And also, Vachar Shin Nekrum and Akarka. It has to be after the food was Nekrum and Akarka. The Zera was Nekrum and Akarka. Vam Shadavi Yaduahu. Shain Lucha Zera Shli Bol of Mayim Shu Mechuber. So may the Wasab Shat Chiyut Mayim al Zera. I mean, every, ma- every Zera had Mayim on it. Is Le Namar Vichyut Mayim a Lachar Shin Nekrum Ha Echlin. So only after it was Nekro Eichlin, so that's one din. And also there's another din that it has to be Nitl Shua Mashkin, which means the, if the Moshele of the Zera mixes into water, that the water is Mechubel Karka, so that water also is not Machshir. In order for it to be Machshir, it has to be that the water is not Mechubel Karka. Only then is the is the water Machshir. Now Lepel, if the Zera becomes in let's say, goes into water, which is Mechubel Akark, and then when you take the Zer out, so what, while the Zer was in the water, it wasn't Mukshir, because Lepel, the water, the Zer was taka detached from the Karka, but the water wasn't detached from the Karka. But once you take the Zer out, so so now that water, which is on the Zer, is detached from the Karka. And Mamele, if, it, if it's detached Berotzen, so then it could be Mokshir, like we learn by Hamshik in this Perik, is Nochamol. So Hechshir, Eichlin has to be Kamatzloin. First of all, it says Mayim, so Lav Davke Mayim, it's also Sheva Mashkin. And it also has to be Berotz and Abaylim. And it has to be Achash and Nekru, the Zer has to be Nekru. And it has to be also that the, that the Mashka was Nekar from the Karka in order to be Machshir. The Ram is going to say all the Prot and Bamshach. Halacha Beis, Kol Mashka, Shenofel al Ho'echel Betchila Berotz and Abaylim, Originally, when the mashke fell on it, it was berotzna bailu. Is afal pisha in sefi berotzna. Eventually, later on, he realized that he's really not happy that the mashke fell. Or fakert, or shahoy is sefi berotzna. Ve'in tchilas berotzna. Originally, when the mashke fell on, it wasn't berotzna. But lepel later was berotzna. Is hichsher. So as long as at one point in time, either in the beginning, so it became muksher, it can become uis muksher. Because the fact is, later on, it's going to be nizgal, and he's not really happy. Or if originally it fell. And Lepel, it wasn't happy. And then later on, he was happy. So then, it's Hirsher. Now, Nofel Shalei Bertseini, if it fell Shalei Bertseini, and it never became Yeh Bertseini, any Machsher. Now, Philu Bolal Hu Peresim. Not only if it was Nofel, but let's say he put the, the Peres into the Mayim, Bolal Hu Peresim, but not, he's not really interested in getting the Peres wet. He's Bolal Hu Peresim, Mepnea Sakon, Mepnea Seich. You know, there was a, he, he put it into the water, not because he was interested in the water, the wetness of the water getting getting onto the paters, but he was just interested in a, in a, diff- a different reason. The marshal, but who ain't it saying is He's not interested in them being wet. There's ganovim there. Let's say the mayim, you, you won't be able to see in the mayim. The mayim is, let's say, dirty water. So the mele, he won't be able to see into the water. So he puts the pears into the water that the ganav shouldn't see it. So he's not interested in, the, in, in other words, he wouldn't mind if the, if the pears would be covered and he'll put it into the water. He's not interested in the pears coming in contact with wetness, with the wetness of the water. He's just interested that the water should conceal the pears. He's noticed he's traveling down the flow of a river, and Mimele, he's, he's putting the paters into the river for the river to carry the paters. So also he wouldn't mind if he would have like a little ship or a little boat, and then the paters would be on the boat. He's not interested in the paters getting wet. He's just interested in the paters flowing with the river. So Mimele, since he's not interested in the wetness of the paters, not in the case of Mipnei Ganov, not in the case of Shbeil Zanor, says Eina Mukhsharim. So it's Nochamol, in order for the Mashke to be Metami, it has to be that Nofel Berotzen, and even if he actually put it there, but he didn't put it there for it to get wet, he only put it there for another reason, either Mipnei Ganov or Shbeil Zanor, so in such a case it didn't become Mukhsharim. Halacha Gimel, Mashkin Shenitlu Shum Nakar Kashali Berotzen. Now, while the mashke is in the karka, so the mashke is not machshir. 
Now, if once the mash the mashke was nitlash menakarke, that's when it could be mashke machsher. But that's only if it was nitlash menakarke berotzen. Mashenkin, if it wasn't nitlash menakarke berotzen, so the Rambam is going to say behemshuk. So that mashke has a din keilu it's still mechubel lekarke, and in mele it can be machsher. It can be machsher. By nachamol right. mashkin shenitlushu menakarke shlei berotzen. Einon machshirin can't be machshir l'fichach other mikelim mipedes shenivlu b'mashkin they became wet in the mashkin which was mechobel lekarka and then v'nitlu shu shlei berotzin and then that mashke was nitla shlei berotzin which was on the pedes is afal pishen nago eichlum beisin mashkin berotzin originally that mashkin was nago eichlum beisin mashkin berotzin or later on was nago mashkin beisin mashkin berotzin but the mashkin was 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 nekar from its mocker shlei berotzin. Is the din is lay hukshiru, shari eisen hamayim shalei lerotzen nitlushu, u kiilu heinadayim bekarkash eina machshir. So the Rambam is saying you have to have two things. First of all, you have to have that nitlushu hamayim and akarka berotzen in order for the mayim to be considered mayim tlushim, and you also have to have that that mayim is finds itself on the pedes berotzen, that finds itself on the pedes berotzen. Has to be two in yonim. Side the mayim is on the pedes berotzen, and side that the mayim were nitlushim and akarka berotzen. The Mayim, which was on the Odom or Kalim or Pedis, were Tlushim Berotzen. And then the Nogu Bamechum Berotzen, both of them happened. They were Tolish Berotzen and they were Nogu Berotzen. So then it's Hukshu, then it's considered Hukshu. Hakefe Koara la Kesel, Bishvil Shetudach. He wants to wash off a, a, a plate, so he puts it on the wall, he, he, he puts it on top of a wall. And in order for the water to come and to and to wash it down, so now the water that's coming down in the rain, that's mine, which is considered mechubarim, mechubarim because it's mechuber to the avim to the clouds. So in other words, in order for rainwater to get a din of rainwater that could be machsher, it has to be that the, you want that the water should be somewhere, and that's where you want the water to be. So for example, when, while the rainwater is coming down, it's falling on you. So Lapel, at this point in time, the rainwater is still mechuber. It's still mechuber. And since the, you're not interested in it being on you, so in Mele, it's kilo, it became tolush shalei berotzen. It became tolush from its matzav of being rainwater in the clouds. If you're interested in it being somewhere, so then that's considered that it was tolush berotzen. So over here, you have rainwater that's falling on a keli. So if you're interested in this rainwater washing off the keli, so the water which is on the keli has a din of tolush berotzen. If you're not really interested in this water coming onto the keli, so that water which is on the keli is considered tolush leberotz nochamol. Hakefe koara la kesil b'shvil shetudach. You put the, the the plate on the keli on the kesil in order for the plate to be washed down. So the din is hamayim shabo. The water which is in the keli is machshir mamachshir because lepel the water you wanted the water on the keli and lepel so that water became tolush berotz. And vim hiniach bam pedes, and then if you put pedes into this keli, is hukshiru mipnei shein tlushin bekeli ledas, because they're tolush in the keli ledas, and now you put the 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 the, the pedes into this keli, so it's also so it was tlushin berotzin, and it became connected to the water berotzin. However, kafa bishvil shleilka kesel, you're not interested in the water getting onto the kesel. You're interested at, at getting onto the onto the kara. You're interested in the kaisel not having any water on it. So you you're protecting the kaisel. So then hamayim shebo enon katlushim. So the water which is in the keli are not katlushim. Or the fichachim nasan da meichlim. Even though you put eichlim midas, nevertheless lehuchshir because lepeil the water in its present state in the keli is considered le le nitlushim beratzim. Now, Kamuvan, if you're going to take the water, the keli, out of the, the paris out of the keli, so now you're going to be toilish the, the paris from the keli. So that'll be tlush and berots in the pastos. So it's just like if we're going to have mushal, water in the karka. So that water in the karka is not considered tlush and berots, and it's not tlush. Now, all of a sudden, now you, you have paris in that karka, because that paris aren't mukshir, because they're being mukshir with water, which is mukhubar. Now, if you take those paters out, so we're going to learn by Hemshech, that you are mecha, that it becomes Tlush and Berotzen. Same thing over here. The water that's in the Kaili right now can't be Machshir. But if you're going to take it out of the Kaili, it will be Machshir. Now, in the Schav and Shiyud HaKesel, if you're interested, if Lemoshul, you have this, this rain falling and you're happy that this wall is getting washed down. So it depends what kind of wall it is. 
in Hoya, Kesel Baisa, it was a Kesel of a house, which the din is, in other words, a house means that you took bricks and you built a house, or you took stones and you built a house. So, so we're talking, you took something that was Tolush and you were Mechaber to the Karka. So, if you took something that was Tolush and you were Mechaber to the Karka, so therefore it's considered Tolush Batsam. Since it's Batsam Tolush to be this din, so therefore it's considered Tolush and Beratsam because you wanted that it should fall on this house. Masha'enkin, if we're dealing with a wall which is Batsam Mechaber, the Mashallah wall of a cave, a wall that's or that's batsim mechuber. So mele, so you're interested in washing off. But lepel, this in itself is mechuber lekarka. So that's batsim not tlushim. This wall is batsim not tlushim. So mele, it's not shaykes to call this water that fell on this wall tlushim beratz. Nischaven shu the chakesel. The person had in mind when the rain was falling that the kaisel should be washed. Is imhoya kaisel by as if this was a kaisel of a house. Is Arela Machshir. So this water is Machshir. Why? Shahatolu Shechibre, Le'inyan Hechshir, Hareo Ketolish. As far as Hechshir is concerned, it has a din of Tolish. Legabe, Lemashal, Makabal Tumah, it won't be Makabal Tumah. But Lahatolu Shechibre, Le'inyan Hechshir, as far as Hechshir is concerned, Hareo Ketolish is considered that the water which is on this wall is considered Tolish. Vinim Tzumayim Shalakeshul Bayezah is Kemayim Shebekelim, as a din of Kemayim Shebekelim. And it's like, just like if you'd want should be Yudah HaKa'ara. So over here, it's Yudah HaKesel, the same din. However, if it was the Kesel of a, of a, of a cave, She'ein Ibinyin L'Atzma Shel Karka, is part of the Karka Melchatechila. So then, HaMayim Sholah, Einan Ketlushim in HaKarka. So therefore, the water which is on the wall of the cave is not considered Ketlushim in HaKarka. Halach Edalet. HaShoy Chalishtay, someone that bends down to drink, is HaRiyamayim She'ha'ilam B'Svamei, so the water that comes to him, so he wants to drink. So drinking, by definition, means putting his mouth through the water. That's what it, That's the act of drinking. He's putting his mouth through the water. So putting his mouth through the water means his mustache and his mouth are going to get wet. So it's going to be in his mouth and in, and, and in his lips. He was interested in drinking. He was interested in drinking, so he was interested in having a contact with this water in order to drink. So therefore, it's considered a real nitlu shabaratzin. In other words, even though he wasn't really interested in making his lips wet, but he was interested in contacting his... You have to be mechalik. And as we said before, Lamashal, if you put a keli into... If you put paris into to water in order to make sure that it, there's... To watch it from ganovim. So you're not really interested in the paris getting wet. You're interested in putting the paris in the water to eat... To watch from the Ganovim. So that's not considered that that was Berotzen. That was not called that you got it Berotzen. Over here, we're talking about the Neged being Toilish Berotzen. We're talking about Toilish Berotzen. When a person does something which inevitably will cause a Tlisha, vice versa, it's different. If, if it, over there, we was talking about whether it was it, it became wet Berotzen. Over here, we're talking about when it was Nitlish Berotzen. Really, over here, we're not talking about getting wet. We're talking about whether it was Nitlish Berotzen. So this is what's when a person does something and he's going to drink. And he's interested in drinking. And in order to drink, you have to put your mouth next to the water. And that inevitably will cause that the water will come up on your mouth and go out. That's called nitlash barotzen. That's called nitlash barotzen. The hail b'shasa b'rtseine harela nitlash barotzen. Abel ha-mayim o'elem b'chotme u'b'skone u'b'reshe. In other words, if water also reached his nose or it reached his beard or reached his head, which didn't really have to happen, it just happened, but it didn't have to happen, is Einam Tlushim Beratzen. That's not called Tlushim Beratzen. The Nukudas Advarim is that when a person goes and he gets water, and he does, and, and inevitably something other water will come up in, 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 together with this, that's not really his Iker Kavana. There's just a Zaiti Gazach that will happen as a result of that. That's considered part of the Tlushim Beratzen. I'll call upon Legabi the Din of Tlushim Beratzen. We were saying that there was a Din of, of, of Nofel Beratzen. Could be that's a different gather. But I'll call upon Lugabit Lushim Berotzen, any act that you do that inevitably will cause another act, so that's called also Tlushim Berotzen. So now there's another case, Halacha Hei. Hamimali Sachovis, someone fills up a, a, a barrel or a, a pail from a, from a pit, from a, from, from a well, is Hamayim Ma'ilu Machre, the water which goes on the back of the pail. You're not interested in the water on the back of the pail. But if you're filling up the pail, so obviously there's going to be water on the back of the pail. Is Hamayim Ma'ilu Machre, the water which goes on the back of the pail. And also, Ubechevel Shu Mechunen Al Tzavara, and also on that part of the rope, which is wrapped around the neck of this pail. Knows which you, you, knows you, you want the pail to be held. 
So you wrap around the, the rope around the neck of the of the pail. The pail obviously has a narrow part, and you wrap it around so it'll be able to hold the pail. So obviously, if you're going to fill up the pail, so that rope, which is going to go, is which is under the top of the which the, the tip of the pail will go down also into the water. So that rope, which is around the, the neck of the pail, and also bechevel shul etzarcha, and the part of the of the rope which has to go down in order to be able to bring this pail down into the water, so some of the rope will have to go down into the water in order to get this pail down, to get the pail down into the water, is hareil klusha barats, and all of this water which is on the back of the pail and on the rope which is on the neck of the pail and also on the part of the rope which is above the pail, which that's the part which is necessary to get into the water in order to be able to fill it up, is all of these things are in Klushim Barotzim. If let's say the rope went down further into the into the well, which wasn't really necessary in order to fill the pail, the pail went in deeper, but it didn't really have to go so deep. So part of the rope that went down into the water, which wasn't really necessary for that rope to go down, so that part is in Klushim Barotzim. That's not called this Klushim Barotzim. Now that's talking about if you put it into a well, so therefore the rope, the rope and the back of the pail had to get wet. However, if you go ahead and take a pail and put it under a pipe and the water is filling up, so nothing has to get wet. So all the water could have really gone directly into the pail. So therefore, any water that's outside the pail, side of the rope, and side of the back of the pail, is all is and therefore they're not makshir. Halochavav, mi shiyordol of kshamim, now he's not really interested in the kshamim falling on him. So mele, the kshamim that are falling on him are not really klushin berotzen. If they're not klushin berotzen, so they're also not mekabal tumma. Till now we're talking about klushin berotzen, whether they're machshir mekabal tumma. But there's also a din that if they're not klushin berotzen, they're also not mekabal tumma. Is mi shiyordol of kshamim, afilo hoi avatumma, is Hamayim Sha'olov, Afal Pishayard Mitzad El Yilatach, in other words, they're dripping down him from the top to the bottom, is nevertheless to hate him. However, Vuhu Shiyinat Kim Miolov Bechol Kechik. That's only when he, if he, he, he takes it off of him, knows he gives a shakal, a very strong shakal, that the water should go off him Bechol Kechik. Avol Imhoyu Sheisim Viyardim is Bishas Prishosim Mistamin. That's the din number one. In other words, we're saying, I, want, you have to, I don't understand it so clearly, but the Nukudas Advarim is like When the water comes on him, so they weren't, since he wasn't interested in it, so they're not Berotzen, so therefore they're not Lushim Berotzen, so they're not Makabal Tumma. The problem is that when the water drips off of him, so at that point in time, they are Lushim Berotzen. He's happy that the water is dripping off him. So since he's happy that the water is dripping off him, so they're Lushim Berotzen. Now, but Lechura, once they fall off him, so they're not they're no longer mistami together with him. So we say no. But since they're dripping off, like slowly, so while they're dripping off, they're on one hand connected to him, and they're one hand, they're being clushim in him. So at that point in time, they're makabal to him. In other words, well, let's say they're on the top of him, so they're, they're not clushim berotzim bechlal. They're not clushim. Because they're, they're on him, not berotzim. So they're not clushim. But when they're going to get off him, so they're going to be clushim. So they're going to be klushim berotzen because he's happy that they're getting off him, and at the same time they're still touching him. So memele he's matami them. Mashainkin if he gives a chatresel, so when they're klushim they're no longer touching him. I don't understand the mitzvahs as a klar, but that's lachore the pshat that if he was yinatki ma'olim mishuchol keche, so when they become klushim berotzen, so at that point in time they're no longer touching him. Memele they're tam they're they're tor. That that's what we say. Avon hoyu sheisim v'yerdim is b'shas prisha mish. Prishosam mistam. That's talking about when he's tummy. Now, bizman shehin tehirim, when they're tehirim, so over there we say, Eina machshirim. They're not machshir. Shaharei Eina tlushin olav l'ritseini. So even though the pill now they went off him, they, they dropped off him, but he would have rather that they should never have come on him. So Mel, since they would rather they should have never been on him, so therefore they're not considered tlushin olav l'ritseini, and therefore they're not machshir. Now, in the case of the first case, the Chura also, he would have rather they never went on him. But Lepel over there, we say, since he's Tomei, since he's Tomei, so Lepel, when they become Tlushim, you have to, it's, uh, until now we're learning Heksher and Tumai work together. But Lepel over here, this Ram is coming out, there's a, dif- there's a difference between Heksher and Tumai. Let's say again. 
When a person is Tomei, so Lapel, the water that's on him is not considered Klushim Beratzen, and therefore that water is not Makabal Tuma. But when that water starts getting off him, so that water that's, that's off him could be Makabal Tuma. And since they're Makabal Tuma and Lapel, they're at that point they're becoming Klushim and he's Tomei, so Mamele, even though he would have rather they wouldn't have been there, but Lapel, they become Tomei. To Lapel, they become Tomei. You don't say they would have, they're not considered Klushim. They are Klushim. Because Lepel, Legabi, Tumah, they're Klushim. Masha'inkin over here, when they're not Tomei, it's only a question of Legabi Heksher, he's Toer. So over here we say, Legabi Heksher, Einam Akshirim. Because Einam Klushim, all over it's Einam. And therefore, if the water fell on him, he was an Ish Toer, and they dripped off him, they're not considered, they're not considered, they're not considered Klushim Baratzim. Over here is Vakert. They're near, but if he shake, shook himself off from this water, so that mainly he was so was Tlushim Baratzin, is Arela Laratzin, so Mela is Baratzin. So it comes out Faket, that over there, when he was near, he's preventing it from becoming Tommy. He's preventing it from becoming Tommy. But Pashtus, it'll become, it'll be Machshul Kabul Tumba also. Since he was near, it'll stop being Machshul Kabul Tumba. But on the other end, it won't become Tommy. Mashaikin, in the case where he was Toyer, so if he was near, so then it'll be Machshul Kabul Tumba. Mashaikin, and if he wasn't near, so it won't even be Machshul. That's the din. So let's say it again. A person was tummy. A person was tummy and rain fell on him. So while the water was on him, nothing happened to the water. When the water falls off of him, so it depends. If he gives a chashokal off of the water, so that water was never tummy. If he just drips off of him, so that water becomes tummy. But on the other hand, if he shuckled, gave a shuckle, so that water is still going to be machshir. Because the pail, it was, it was, it was nitlash baratzen. But when it was nitlash baratzen, it didn't become tummy from him. Masha'inkin in a case where he was tor, so if it just dripped off of him, it's not even machshir. And if he gives a chashakal, so then it is machshir. Now, Oma tachas atzinir lehoker lideach, he pushed stood under a pipe, and water was pouring on, on top of him. He says, it's a lerotzen, it's pushed, that is lerotzen. And therefore, vim ho yitomei, hamayim sha'olov tmeim. And if it wasn't tomei, so then hamayim sha'olov is certainly machshir. Halacha zayin, chavis shehoi simulei aperis, and the Yorad had laf lutecha. A drip fell into the into this chavish mleya pedis. So the din is hareze yor. So this mime wasn't really naflu beratzin. It's not really mime which could be machshe beratzin. And he's also not interested in the pedis having being, becoming muksha from this mime. He's not interested in the pedis getting wet from the mime. This is this two in yonim. Say the mime weren't really nitlash beratzin, and say also that there's no rotzin on the mime going on the pedis lechura. So the din is harizi yara mai me'alim ve'ina mukshirim, and the pears aren't mukshirim. Ba'avol pi and the mai also not mukshir. Ba'avol pi shirat zayne shiyo b'teche at shiyara mai me'alim. At this point in time, he wanted that the pears should be there, and he wanted the mai should be there until he pours it out. But since be'etzim, he's not interested in the water there in the first place. So therefore, it's lepeil. It's not mukshir lekabel tuma. Halacheches areva. She yared a dlaf lutecha. He had a, a bowl, a, a, a shisel, and the dlaf also a drip fell into it. So the din is hamayim hanitazim vatzof miyala einot lushim beratzim. The water that's dripping over onto the floor is einot lushim beratzim. He's not interested in, in in the drip. Now lechure also shebetecha is also not beratzim. That's lechure pasha. He's not interested in all this water. Now, not lo l'shavcha, the Chiddush is that even though he took this water in order to spill it out, so l'chur at this point in time, he wants the water to be in the bowl, but nevertheless, ha'mayim shebetecha, in the ratzim, because he's not really interested in the water. He's, he Just now, he wants, since the water is there already, so he wants to pour it out elsewhere. But l'pel, he's not interested in the water. I, I, I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm like, at first he starts off, ha'mayim and he tells him, v'atzof me'oleh, in a tlushim beratzim. What about the one inside? The inside is also not tlushim beratzim. Everything is not Lushim Baratzim. The Chiddush is that even if not Lushavcha, is Amayim Shabbatecha, Einan Baratzim. Now, he nicha shiyed that laflatecha. Now, he put it there in order for the drip to go in there, but not because he wants the drip in there. He wants to protect the house. He doesn't want the house to get wet. So, this is Azoy. And he tells him that Safin Shabbatecha is certainly Einan Lushim Baratzim, the not Tolish Baratzim. The im not lot Lushavcha, and if he took it Lushavcha, so since he move, he's moving it, so the din is hare elu mukshar shekiv and shli shavcha b'mkema. So it's considered hari tolshem b'rtseni. Now the emes says that he's not really interested in the water in the first place. He's not interested in the water in the first place. But on the other hand, he's happy 
that it didn't go onto the floor originally. He, he's happy that it didn't go onto the... So originally he would have been happy that there wouldn't have been water in the first place. And therefore now, but Lepel, since he was happy that it went into the in, into the keli, and now he was not the shavcha, so it has a din of tol shem Now, it, it, in the original din, beginning of the Arabi, when it was not the shavcha, we say amayim shibetecha einam beratzim, because over there he bechlalan, over here he had cholapach an interest in the water going into the into the Areva in, to protect the 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 house. So there was a shtickle interest. I know, but he wasn't interested in the drip. But Lepel, now that it was there, he wanted it to go into the Arev. So you can't say it's really Klush and But Sai, he, he wanted it to go into the Arev. If it's there, he wants it to go into the Arev. And now it was not Lushavcha. So we say, once it was not Lushavcha, it's considered Klush and Baratzim. Mashiach, in the original case, Arev, Shayarad Adlaf Latecha. So there was nothing that he did really that showed an interest in the dlav going to the areva, so even by not lushavcha, it's also not considered tlushim beratzim. You have to understand what's the svaris over here. This is the svar that's brought down here in, in the Ram Maruch. Halacha tes hamad is kelov or vamechabes is ksusei b'moara. So hamayim ho'elon biyadim beratzim. So notice the water that goes up on his hands, and it's, he's interested in washing the the. the and inevitably, the water will go on his hands, like we learned before, just like by the pail. So inevitably, the water is going to go on the back of the pail. So over here also, he's interested in the kalim and the ksus getting wet. But the pail, he can't do that without his hands getting wet. So therefore, the water on his hands is also considered beratzim. Or beranglov, but the, what goes on his feet is ain't katlushim beratzim, because there's no hechra that his feet should become wet. Halacha yud, peiris shenoflu l'techa mayim, peiris fell into water, now, Poshat Yoda Vinotlam, he put in his hand to take the Paytas out of the water. He's not interested in the water, he's not interested in the Paytas being in the water, he's not interested in his hands being in the water. He has no interest in the water. So the din is lay hukshu. It's not hukshu, it's not considered Tlush and Beratzen. It's not that he wants the Ratzen on the Paytas, there's no interest. Now, Vim Chishef, he took the Paytas out of the water, and while he was taking the Paytas out of the water, he wants also that his hands should get washed out. The Mchishev, he wasn't interested in the Peiris getting wet. The Mchishev, Sheyutchu Yodav, that his hands should become washed. So Mela, now when he takes his hands out, so Lepel, that water that's on his hands is considered that they were Nitlash Beratzen, because Lepel, he wanted his hands to get wet. So the Mchishev, Sheyutchu Yodav, so Hukshiru, so now the Peiris are going to become Hukshir with the Mayim Shebi Yodav. You know, since he's holding the Peiris with wet hands, and he wants that, that those hands... The wetness on his hands is something which is considered pollution beratzen, and he's intentionally holding those pairs with those wet wet hands. So the mela, so that mayim which was on his hands are machshe the pairs, not the mayim which were on the pairs originally. The mayim which were on his hands, they are machshe the pairs. Is hulchshiru be mayim shebiyodav, shamayim shebiyodav, bishaala pairs, the mayim which are on his hands, and now that are on the Paris is Arayin Kedlushim Beratzin. And the Mela, they are Machshe the Paris. Even though Lechuri is not interested in the Paris being wet, but Lechuri, since he's interested in his hands being wet, and Lepel, his hands, if his hands are going to be wet, so obviously the Paris are going to be wet, so Mela comes out that that's all part of that Ratzin. I'll say vice versa. Halacha Yudal, Fanesin Peresel Utecha Mayim Bertzene. He put the Paris into the water, and it was Bertzene. Is him hoyu Mayim Shibar Karkois, Eina Mukhsharim, Kols Manshem Bemayim. Because the water that's in the karka is not maksher. Now, hoitzion, if he took the peiris out of the water, is hukshiru b'mayim shalayim eishal yodav. So then they become mukshir with the water that's either on the peiris or al yodav, shahareim, nitlushu beratzen. That's talking about when the peiris w- were in the mayim bertzene. That's when the peiris were in the mayim bertzene. Ketzat, tsnei neilafes shubetech hamora, is nida midichasi sham, behutar, even though the nida is being midicha, the tsnei in, in the water, but lepel, she leaves it there and still tar. However, halasu, kolshu, if she takes it out of the water, so the kolshu min amayim, so then it magol. So then it becomes, since the water, was, again, when the painters fall into the water, shalei beratzen, and then you take it out, even though you're taking out beratzen, but lepel, that's not machshir. Masha'in Kain, if it, you put the Paris into the water, Biratsan. So while the Paris are in the water, it's not Muksha because the water is Mukhubar. Masha'in when you start taking it out, so then it becomes Muksha. It needs, uh, still needs a beer to, to have to clear the Hagdoras over here. Halacha Yud Beis. Kupa Shimalaya Turmusim. You have a box which is full of Turmus beans. Unasuna Lutecha Mikvah, and it's all in a Mikvah. 
Now he's interested in this box becoming washed in the mikvah, but he's not has no interest in the turmus and being in the water. So meshed yodi a person could stick it as a tummy to hand. Venetal turmusim mitech, and he takes turmusim out of the box which is in the mikvah. Vehin teirim, and the turmusim are still tor, even though luchur if the turmusim would become huchshir lekabel tumah. So luchur then his tummy would be metame the turmus. We say no. The turmus doesn't become hukshir lekabel tumah, even though he's taking out of the turmus from the box in the mikvah, which is obviously wet. Mipneishuli hukshir, the turmus didn't become hukshir lekabel tumah. Sharei mitecha natal, he took it from the mikvah. So in the mikvah, obviously, it didn't become mukshul kabel tumah. The mikvah was mukhobel lekarka, and the water that was in the karka. And the ainrit say the maim shalim, he has no interest in the water being under turmusim. And he had never interest in the water being at the Turmusim. So even though the Turmusim were in the water, now he's taking out the Turmusim. See, he has, that the Turmusim are still tor. Now, Hela Minamayim, he took the whole box out of the water. So now, Hanoigim bit Kupa, so now he's Tommy. And the Kupa, the Kupa is also Tommy. The Kupa is also Tommy. And the water that's next to the Kupa, the water that's next on the Kupa, that, he was interested in that water. The water which was touching the kupa, that water is considered, that's considered that it was, that it was separated from the karka berotzen, that it was nitlash berotzen. So the meila hanoigim bekupa, those two musim that are touching the kupa are tmeim. Shari hukshir will be maim she bekupa. The maim which are on the kupa are considered hukshir, the water which were nitlash berotzen, and because they wanted that. He was interested in the kupa becoming wet, so mainly he was interested in the kupa becoming wet. So when he takes the kupa out, like we learned before, when he puts something into water, and you're interested in, in it being in the water, then when you take it out, so the water which you take out with this thing that you were originally interested in is considered nitlash beratzim. If something falls into water, shalei beratzim, then you take it out, so you aren't interested in it being in the water, so you're not interested in it being nitlash water. That water is still not, not being machsher. If it was put in Berotzen and now it's taken out, so then that water is Nitlish Berotzen. So the Kupa that was interested in being washed, so the water that's on the Kupa is considered Nitlish Berotzen. The water which is on the Turmusim, which you were never interested in that water in the first place, that's not considered Nitlish Berotzen. Is Helim and Amayim, Hanegim Bekupa Tmeim, Shari Hukshim Maim Shibekupa, Shanitlish Shibirsene, because that was considered Nitlish Birsene. All the other Turmusim, Shabbatech HaKupa, are still tearing because, because of the Turmusim, which were never put in their Berotzen. And those they were never got wet Berotzen. So when they're Nitlash, they're also not considered Berotzen. Mashing in the Kupa that was inside the water was Berotzen because he wanted it to get washed off. So now when you take the Kupa out of it, so that, that water is Nitlash Berotzen, and that water is Machsher, the Turmusim that are touching that water. So the water that's touching, the Turmusim that are touching the Kupa. It needs still uh, a lot of further f- clarification.